Hi there, and welcome back to another episode on parametric design in Fusion 360. Uh, this time we're taking the aerofoil section that I did before and converting that into a wing with an integral aileron. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. So if you do, please do subscribe and uh, like and uh, hit that notification bell. Uh, it will mean you'll get notified of new videos and help other people find this channel. Here we can see the uh, finished um, Airfoil, um, as you can see, the uh, airfoil has an integral aileron on it, um, and uh, we're going to work on some integral structure and uh, and um, uh, servo mounting in here uh, uh, in some later episodes. But for this episode, we're just looking at how we got to uh, where we are here. So if we expand, we've got some. Uh, a root section and a wingtip section. Uh, they're based on the same thing as I did before in the previous um, slide uh, show, uh, but um, the difference being that uh, these are now um, so previously I had issues where the airfoil was moving around when you uh, when you change the parameters, and now I've reorientated it so these are all points now are on polar coordinates around the quarter cord and um, what that means is that you can uh, put, uh, change the angle of attack and those sorts of things. So uh, let's have a quick look in at the parameters now. Uh, so we've got modify and change parameters, drag that in. So um, I've got these user parameters now. Some of these are for later things. So we've got a wingspan, wing sweep, Wing root angle attack, wing cord, wing root cord, wing tip cord, the thickness to cord ratio of the profile, dihedral, and then um, so this positions the aerofoil in X and Y on the root plane. The fuselage width that pushes in the uh, the width of the fuselage and is therefore the um, location of the root plane again. Uh, so the root span percent for the aileron. So this is how far out the from the root the aileron is. So that position there. The tip span again. So that's ten percent in from the tip. Uh, so these hinges. The the idea is that you can cut these hinges out once it's been printed. Because uh, I'm aiming this for 3D printing at the moment. Um, so hence that's why you've got these features around beveling so it'll be printed from the root upwards and so these bevels here allow the printer to um, just come in out and then obviously the, the bevel on the hinge line is to allow the, hinge, the, the aileron to move. Um, then uh, the hinge angle is just the included angle of that bevel, um, a wing washout so that's how much nose down uh, sorry, nose up uh, additional angle of attack you've got on the um, tip profile that helps with stall. So it's minus three degrees, which means the tip is at a lower angle of attack than the root, and therefore you should help uh, reduce the likelihood of tip stall, which can be nasty. Um, so then there's some um, stuff about uh, uh, the structure which I'm going to cover later. Um, so I'm going to put a hex structure in and um, to do that I need these other two parameters. But we'll cover that in the next video. So those are the parameters. So if we have a look uh, just quickly, if we look at it in plan form, you can see there. So if we change the wing sweep, let's go to uh, 10 degrees. There you go. That changes the wing sweep. We go um, wing tip cord. Uh, do that. You can see, it reduces the tip, uh, and all these parameters work like that. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so if we uh, get out of here, let's get out of here, and we'll undo those parameter changes. And then uh, let's uh, just walk you through how, I dr how I've drawn this. Uh, so let's go back to the beginning. So I created a load of planes and then I created the two profiles. 
Um, so these are from, if I go up here, there's, you can just see it all the way down here, tiny, 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 is the one millimeter scale um, uh, profile that was developed last time, but it's been uh, redone with the um, polar coordinates. So I've copied that into these two on uh, these two construction planes, uh, which you can't see, which you still can't see. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, there you go. So, okay, anyway, so the two construction planes positioned by those um, pieces of data. So once we've got that, um, it's fairly simple just to generate a loft between the two and you get your basic airfoil. The tricky bits are now about generating that aileron slot. So first off, I'm going to create a profile. So if we look down here, there's a profile there that generates the root slot. So that's based from that point there, just somewhere I chose on the wing. And you can see that's your slot profile. Um, so then uh, while I was here, what I actually also did, and it's not on, but if we turn off, uh, if we turn off the OML profile and turn on this body. I've created this um, patch off the wing surface. That's going to allow me to trim this, the uh, structure later and I wanted the patch um, on the actual uh, on the actual uh, OML of the airfoil before the aileron so that's why I've created it now. So let's so get rid of that and turn the OML back on. Okay so uh, OML wing outer mold line. Okay. So now we've got that, and now we need to create the same of the tip profile, and then we generate a loft between the two, uh, which should be uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, it's ended up in there because I moved it later. Um, so there you go. So that's going to take that gully out of the the route there. Um, so I want to so I create I've created a couple of planes, one for the tip and the uh, root profile, and you can see now that I've so that's the um, uh, tip end of the aileron and it cut, and that's the root end of the aileron and it cut, and basically that's just from a couple of um, uh, profiles, uh, sorry, planes. And then use those to do a modify. I think it's modify um, split body. Okay. So now we've got that. I want to generate the uh, slots to the trailing edge. Um, so I've gone in and created a load more profile. So if we get rid of that one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, uh, no, where's it gone? Oh, okay, I haven't put that in yet. Okay, so then we turn up. So now we've got the uh, aileron slip to. Profiles. So here we go. These are the profiles for the slots. Now to generate those slots, I also need to. Um, I want to keep a certain, uh, uh, like a, a fraction of a millimeter beneath this surface. So I've actually created these two uh, sketches. So you can see there's a sketch there that has an arc. So that basically sits. A uh, fraction of a millimeter underneath the surface, and then, uh, then once we've done that, I can then go through and use a. I can't remember what it's called. We can use a create sweep. So basically, I take that profile, I sweep it along these lines, and now we should have uh, these two bodies okay so now you can see is that's kind of working into how I'm going to uh, cut these slots so you see a nice little slot in there uh, 
and then if we go through and extend, oh, I wanted to extend both of those because they weren't quite um, puncturing through the outer skin. That's just because of the direction of the profile because I generated this profile on that face but that face is at a different angle so it didn't quite push through. Now I also, if we turn off the RML on here, I wanted these these to be slightly rounded just to help with printing. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, so a tiny amount of rounding on those, on the, specifically on that hinge line. And then uh, basically do a combine. And now we've combined that, if we go back in, turn on the OML, turn off all the sketches, and there you go. Um, so basically I've combined the what was the standard OML with the aileron slots and done a cut so that, that those aileron slot bodies have cut that out of the aileron. The idea is, is you can go in with a knife once this has been printed and just cut that aileron out and you're ready to rock. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, learned a little bit too. So uh, if you did, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Maybe have a look at my website and uh, yeah, we'll just see how things go from there. There are some other videos on my channel you might like to have a look at. So uh, if you fancy those, click on the links at the end of this video. Cheers now. Thanks.